Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Quick Looks video. And the subject of this video is one I am really excited to get. The Transformers Legacy Walmart Exclusive Velocitron Speedia 500 Collection Robots in Disguise 2000 Universe Scourge. God, that wasn't a title, that was a book. Now, unlike Legacy G2 Laser Optimus Prime, I actually have the original 2000 Robots in Disguise Scourge. This is one of my all-time favorite Transformer figures, and when they announced Legacy G2 Laser Prime, I just knew that they were going to give us a black repaint of Scourge, and I was looking so forward to this. So, taking a quick look at the packaging here, this is a leader class box with one of those hanging flaps. I don't know what the technical term is for that, so that's something a little bit different. And on the flap, you've got some great artwork of Scourge in his tanker truck mode. Top of the box features actual product shot of the tanker truck. Front of the box, you've got artwork of Scourge in robot mode and the tanker truck actually reversed from the top once again. Transformers Legacy, Robots in Disguise, Universe Scourge, side of the box, more artwork of Scourge in robot mode. Back of the box, we've got robot mode, tanker truck mode, and the base mode. This side of the box is actually wraparound of the robot artwork from the front. Now, one of the things I've noticed already where Hasbro has made a mistake is right here, Robots in Disguise Scourge had a Decepticon insignia instead of the G2 Decepticon insignia. That's there on the name, and if you look on the figure, they've got it wrong on the artwork. So I'm kind of wondering if it's on the figure itself. So now, without further ado, let's get Scourge opened up out of this packaging and check him out. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Scourge all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions, his battle axe, and sword, which is done up in kind of a pink looking collar, which is kind of disappointing because the original Scourge had a blood red sword, and I wish that's what they went with for this. So, oh well, is what it is. And then, of course, you've got Scourge himself in his truck mode and i love the fact that hasbro is packing these figures in their alt modes it harkens back to g1 and really adds to the robots in disguise element of these figures now scourge here is a repaint of legacy laser optimus prime and to be honest it's going to be kind of hard to do a comparison with these two because as you can see my laser optimus prime has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals. And man, what a difference did those make. If you want to check out my review of the Toy Hacks decal set for G2 Laser Optimus Prime, just click that link above. But as you can see, decals aside, this is the same figure, just repainted. So let's go ahead and get G2 Prime out of the way. Focus in on Scourge once again. Love the color scheme on this figure. I've always been a fan of the Scourge Nemesis Prime look, and this guy looks fantastic. Now I'm gonna put this trailer aside for a second, and we're gonna focus here on the cab. Love the looks. I love the turquoise on this figure. See the pinstriping there on the top and the side, and back here above the wheels. So let's bring in the original 
and do a quick comparison. So the pinstriping is close. I kind of like the designs on the new version a little bit better. Front of the vehicle. Now here's where the new one's going to lack is no chrome. I mean, the chrome on the original was just fantastic. But you've got the translucent lights. you got the translucent windows. And even though Scourge has the blood red translucent plastic, the hot pink doesn't look too bad on the translucent pieces. So I would have preferred the blood red, but with this in truck mode, it doesn't look bad because of all of the black. Let's see what else we got to compare. Really, that's about it. He does have some extra paint applications there on the back. So I love the looks of the truck mode. Uh, he does miss, and bring in this guy one more time. Needs a little bit more pinstriping along the top. Does have a little bit of blue there for the lights. That's cool. Missing his uh, insignia. And that, that's about it. And, of course, the chrome on the wheels. Now, the wheels on the truck don't look bad at all. I dig it. Now, this is a little off-putting. He's got translucent plastic right there in front of the wheel. Now, let me bring in Laser Prime. See, Laser Prime doesn't have any translucent plastic there, so I'm not sure why they went with that. So that's pretty much it for the cab. Love it. Looks great. Now let's bring in the trailer. And the trailer to me looks like, you know, it's exactly like the G2 Laser Prime, but looks to be a little bit more silver than the original. So bringing this in, even though he's got the decals, you can make out the silver or the gray plastic that was on the G2 version. And yeah, this is a lot more silver. Let's see, flip it underneath. Yeah, I like the, it's kind of a metallic silver too. So I'm not really sure if that's paint or just the way the plastic is. And I like how it kind of fades up into the top section right there. Lots of molded details, just like the G2 version. You got the little strut right here you can flip out. The G2 had a red strut. This guy's got a gray one. So the trailer looks really good, but nowhere near as good looking as the original with all of that chrome. My only hope is that Toy Hacks, I know you watch my videos, you have got to put the chrome decals on Scourge's trailer. This thing would absolutely pop. Now let's take a quick look at the base mode. Uh, I know it's not much to look at. Go ahead and open this up like so. Fold this down and around. Just do this real quick because I know his base mode really isn't much to look at. Nothing's going to compare to the original base mode with all the missiles and disc launchers and everything else. But just in case you want us to check this out, there is the base mode for Scourge. Go ahead and bring in the base mode for G2 Prime, which of course is going to have a lot more color now thanks to Toy Hacks. And see, so look at the chrome there. So imagine all that chrome on Scourge. So there's the two bases. Yeah, you can definitely tell the differences in the color schemes when you open up the bases. So that's pretty much it. Now let's take a look at Scourge in robot mode. In robot mode, Scourge looks fantastic. And I must say, the tolerance levels have increased on this figure. When I was transforming Scourge, the ab section did not pop off during transformation like it did with G2 Laser Prime, nor did the arms pop off their mushroom pegs. So they fixed a couple of things there. Now I do have a couple of complaints right off and the main one is all of this translucent plastic that they used up here on the shoulder pylons. I don't understand why they did that. Bringing in the G2 figure here, they didn't give him translucent plastic like they did with Scourge. And I understand, you know, you flip these little sections up here, you've got the translucent plastic for the missile pod, so G2 Prime has that. But with Scourge, you open up his missile pods, it's still the translucent plastic, but they did all of this 
in translucent plastic and I just don't think it carries over very well in robot mode at all. The same applied for the window plastic right there. Just like I complained with G2 Prime before Toy Hacks fixed it, I don't like that because you can see the matrix on the inside. And speaking of the matrix, let's see what that looks like. Okay, the matrix is the silver handle and a blob of pink translucent plastic. Bringing in G2 once again. That actually looks like a proper matrix. So they kind of went a little lame with the matrix right there. So really other than the hot pink translucent plastic, this guy looks awesome. Look at the head sculpt. They even have the paint details on the head. They're on the little horns on the side, down along the outsides of the mouth plate. And look at the eyes. Big difference between Scourge and G2 Laser Prime. This figure has proper light piping. Big old clear plastic on the back of the head so you bring in some light. Look at that. That is awesome. When I reviewed G2 Laser Prime and I said that he had dead eyes, of course he's toy hexed right now, so many people in the comments are like, well he has light piping. He does not. The back of this Prime's head is completely solid plastic or has been painted. There is no light piping for this figure. I rest my case, argument over. They fix that with Scourge. That looks fantastic and it's done so well, even if you don't have light directly behind him, his eyes still pop. Now, real quick, there's the comparisons of the two repaints. Now, let's look at the comparisons between Scourge and his Robots in Disguise counterpart. The paint applications are very faithful between the two. You've got the turquoise there on the missile launchers for the shoulders. You got the outline of the windows down here on the chest. You've got the turquoise right below the windows. I love the silver abs on the Legacy version. Scourge here was all black. That silver right there pops. Then you don't really have anything else till you get down to the knees, where Scourge has the shoulders, our turquoise, the knees, the legs, the crotch. So I can foresee a lot of toy hacks on this new version. But man, this they did such a good job on this figure, other than my translucent complaints here. I just, I love the looks of this guy. So now bringing in the weapons, you've got the sword right here that you can put into his hand. Make sure and get that little peg lined up right. So there's the sword and there's the battle axe. Still not a fan of the hot pink. I really wish they went with blood red like the original Scourge. I think that would have really improved this figure. I think even if they went blood red for the translucent up here on the top, that would have made a big difference as well. But what are you gonna do? It is what it is. I still think Hasbro knocked it out of the park with their version of R.I.D.'s Scourge. The Transformers Legacy Scourge, I am not going over that complete name again, is a great figure and an awesome repaint. I, for one, love this figure, aside from the issues I have with the translucent plastic, because as I said earlier, I'm a huge fan of the original Scourge toy, and this guy, is just awesome. It's great to have a new modern version with more articulation. Nothing's gonna to compare to the original, especially with the tanker base with all the firing projectiles, but face it, we're not gonna get gimmick laden Transformers again. I think that ended back in the Unicron trilogy. And as far as I know, the only toy line that actually has multiple gimmicks still is Imagine X. So that being said, if your complaints with this figure is he's not up to par with the original, then get the original. This guy on the other hand is, in my opinion, a great addition to your collection. So if you're a fan of 2000's Robots in Disguise series, a fan of Nemesis Prime, or a fan of Scourge himself, I highly recommend this figure. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a new super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. 
And once again, I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!